Okay then guys, here we go. Today we're doing a tomato ketchup. But the difference with this one is the tomato ketchup is done in the slow cooker. So it's going to be quite a lengthy recipe as the, uh, the term slow cooker suggests. So what we got, we've got two kilograms of tomatoes. These are Amish paste and Roma mixed. One red onion, um, a quarter teaspoon of celery seeds, 250 ml red wine vinegar, uh, half a teaspoon of ground white pepper, two teaspoons of salt, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, quarter teaspoon of mustard, and 75 grams of soft brown sugar. Um, and because this is a lengthy recipe, I want to get going. Okay then, the only thing we need for the start of this recipe is the tomatoes, celery seeds and the onions. I've got the slow cooker on high and God, I'm trying to get here before the sun ruined my good side, you know. I want to get this going so no faffing around there. Alright, let's get all these cut up then. Quarters will do. And if you've got a really uh, any bad bits, just cut them off as usual. And if you're really fussy, you can take the, uh, what you call it, I don't know. The core, the, where the calyx was, calyx, so take them off if you want. I'll just do a couple and I'll get rid of you and uh, sit here on my own, <coughs> cutting tomatoes up. <laughs> Sunday mornings just fly by in my house. I was going to core these properly, but this is easier actually. And there aren't that many tomatoes when they're, when they're big. Right, that's the tomato. Then let's do the onion quickly. You've seen me cut these before. Then again, you could be a new viewer, so it's always reassuring to hear the slow cooker making a noise. <laughs> um, once again, these are, um, this is, sorry, these are, this is uh, Onion Electric from Overwinter from last year. So I'm just going to slice them and dice them. These are going to cook down. You probably won't even see the onions when it's finished. And, like I said, about a quarter teaspoon of celery seeds. You could, if you've got a stick of celery, chop a stick of celery up. I've used all mine. That's the spoon tier, so I'll use that one. There we are. These are good, these Bart seeds. Oh, Bart, um, let me show you. These Bart spices and herbs, they've got double lid. So one way you open it, you've got the pourer. If you open it the other way, you can get a spoon in. Oh, clever enough. Just these little things in life make things easier for you. Oh, smell that. That's a quarter teaspoon, that one. I thought it was a bit small. <laughs> right. Okay, well, that's been a quarter of an hour since I started, so that's not too bad. So it's got these different settings. So we got stock soup, legumes, casserole, pot roast, lamb shanks, bolognese, pudding and custom. And I'm doing custom because I ain't got a clue um, how to make a tomato ketchup in it. <laughs> so we'll just start on that. Let's turn the time down back then to 7.45. There we are. Cooking. Don't know if you can see that guys, but we're uh, three and a half hours, just over three hours 40 in. Video record. I reckon we're ready to add the rest of the ingredients. Yeah. Gonna stand up for this one. 250ml red wine vinegar, 75 grams soft brown sugar, quarter teaspoon of mustard powder, a little bit more because I like mustard, half a teaspoon of white pepper powder, ground white pepper. 
half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Well, that's all the ingredients in there. So what we're going to do now? Let this cook away with the lid down for another hour and a half or so to get all the flavours infused, and then we'll take the lid off, lift the lid up. In my case, and uh, start reducing the uh, the content. Well, that's been half an hour, and I reckon that's long enough for the uh, the flavours to have infused a little bit. So what I'm going to do now? I'm going to close it up again. It's on high heat, and this time I'm going to just prop the lid open. If you've got your typical slow cooker, just leave the lid off, but I can't do that with mine. Right, I've propped the lid open. I'm going to let some of the, uh, the moisture escape and uh, reduce the ketchup. Make it thicker. Okay guys, well that's been six hours of cooking now. And that's hot. And, even though it's reduced, it's not reduced enough. Well, it's not reduced as fast as I want it to. It's gone down about half an inch. What you could do at this stage is leave it overnight. Now I'm not going to do that because I'm cooking outside. I want to do a bit of al fresco, you know, and it's just started spitting with rain. So you've got to leave it overnight to carry on evaporating, evaporating, boiling off, or transfer it to a pan and reduce it. Now this cooker has a reduce function, so I'm going to use that. Right, reduce. High. 10 minutes, press start, and that'll start boiling then. I'm going to put the lid back down a bit, it'll still steam off. It's just it's spitting with rain, you know. That's looking quite ketchupy actually, and it's still warm. Right, so I'm going to get it in the blender. Well, I'll tell you what, team, this is going to be the longest meal I've ever, or the longest recipe I've ever done. Started at 10 o'clock in the morning, and it's now just, just a minute before 6 at night, on the Sunday, and the Veg Grower podcast about to start on YouTube, so we have to rush. <laughs> I watch that every Sunday, it's a good laugh, good, good information as well. Right, so, in the jars. In the jars, and in the bottles. And I'll just use the pourer for this, I reckon. You see it? Yeah, it's quite thick. I mean, that'll, that'll get thicker as it cools down, I reckon. Now, Steve, with his bad planning, should have got them all ready first. Usual routine sterilised in the uh, hot water and the microwave oven, as in the oven part of the microwave oven. 115 degrees, quarter of an hour, 20 minutes, half hour. Just kill the bugs. I reckon I need another jar. Wipe the tops just to stop the uh, lid sticking. Nothing worse than a sticky lid. And usual routine, get the labels on so you know what you've made. Well, there we are. Oops, that's a pretty good one. And always keep a spare sterilised jar. Right, taste it. Yeah, I reckon that's going to thicken up nicely actually, because that's warm and it's got a little bit of a double cream feel to it already, you know? Yeah, it's good. Mmm! 
not Heinz, it's not Heinz. And it's quite sharp with the vinegar. But that would be nice on fish and chips. Hmm. Right. Right guys, just a quick uh, update on the uh, slow cooker tomato sauce. It's now the following day, it's stone cold and it has set beautifully, just like tomato sauce, not, not even moving. Brilliant. And oh nice reassuring pop there. So here we go look. Here we are. And it tastes even better cold. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, it's nice, pretty good. Cheers. <laughs> so there we are guys, four bottles of tomato ketchup made in a slow cooker.